This is Walk Good, African and Caribbean folk tales retold by storyteller Keisha Christie. Join us as we share stories passed down from generation to generation. Gather your family and your friends, reminisce about the old days, learn something new, and most of all, walk good. Welcome to another episode of Walk Good. I'm your storyteller, Keisha Christie, and in this episode, we are sharing a St. Lucian folktale. Storytellers in St. Lucia tell stories called Tim Tim stories. These are stories that are known as folk tales, fables, and animal tales, where throughout the Caribbean are also Anansi stories that are shared. These stories are told by tellers who share the stories that originated in Africa and are widely told today. Well, at least before television. The characters included Compre Le Pen, Rabbit, Compre Chien, Dog, Compre Cat, you guessed it, Cat, and many other characters. These stories are shared in groups uh, when gatherings were together. The storyteller would often call out, itty quick, and the audience would reply, quack, and the storyteller would continue. The story that we are sharing with you today is called How Cat and Dog Became Enemies. Itty quick, quack. Compre chien, dog, and Compre cat, cat, were great friends. They shared a plot of land that they decided they would cultivate. Now, the plot of land was located far from where the two friends lived, so they would have to travel every day and carry their own food so that they could cook their meal. Each day, they brought along food and other things, cooking utensils, and a large tin of butter. Cats love butter, and Compre Cat was no exception. Mm. As they were traveling up to the plot of land, Cobra Cat had made up his mind that he was going to eat that entire tin of butter. When they arrived at the plot of land, Cobra Cat hung the tin of butter high in the trees out of Cobra Chien's reach. Now the tree was about a quarter mile away from where they had to work on the land. Chien and Cat started to work. They were very far from each other. Then Copre Cat had an idea. He shouted, Etye! Then said more angrily, Why is this person calling me? Compre Cat turned in the direction of Compre Chien and called out, Someone is calling me! Well, go find out what they want! called back Compre Chien. Well, off Copre Cat went. And he was gone for some time. When he came back, he was licking his lips. <laughs> Comprehend Chien asks, What did the person want? Oh, they wanted me to name their child, Copring Cat called back. What did you name it? Chien called again. I called it Half Gone. Oh, and the two friends went back to work. After about a half an hour, Copre Cat called out again, Etye! And then he replied, Why are you calling me again? Copre Cat turned to Chien and said, The person is calling me again. Go find out what they want, Copre Chien called back. This time, Copre Cat was gone for 50 to 20 minutes. When he came back, he had that same goofy smile on his face. What did they want? Compre Shane called. They wanted me to name their child. It's another person. And what did you name that one? I named it Quarter Full. Oh, and the two friends went back to work. They continued working and working hard, and then 
compre cat called out again. Etier! Oh, these people, these people, he replied. He turned to Shen and said, There's another person calling me. Shen looked up and said, Find out what they want. And off Copre Cat went. This time, he was gone for about 10 to 15 minutes. When he came back, he started working right away. Copre Shen popped up his head. What did that person want? Compre Cat called back. Is another person want me to name their child? What did you name it? All gone. All gone, Copre Shen to himself. Huh, and the two friends went back to work. A short time later, Copre Shen started to feel real hungry, and he knew that lunchtime must be nearby. So it was time to take a break and start to cook. So he and Copre Cat went back to the tree where the tin of butter was. And Copre Shen set up his fire to start the cooking. He called out to Copre Cat, climb up and grab the tin of butter. Copre Cat climbed up the tree, grabbed the tin of butter, and it fell to the ground. When it hit the ground, the lid came off. Koprenshen turned around and saw something that made his mouth fall open. The tin was empty. Koprenshen started to think back and he said, wait, all of the times when Kopren Cat was referring to half gone, quarter full, and all gone, he was talking about my tin of butter. This made Copran Shen angry. When he turned to speak to Copran Cat, Cat was gone. Running deep into the woods, Copran Shen took off after him and kept running and running but couldn't catch up because he lost sight of Copran Cat. At that moment, Copran Shen decided that he would have his revenge on Co-Prank Cat any time they met. So from that day up until this day, cats and dogs are enemies. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Walk Good. Join us next week as we upload new stories for your enjoyment. We encourage you to like, share, and rate this podcast so that we can grow our community. If you're not already, please take time to join us on our socials so that you can find out what we're up to in between episodes. You can find us on IG under Talkin' Tales, T-A-L-K-I-N underscore T-A-L-E-S. You can also find us on YouTube for videos of stories at Talkin' Tales, T-A-L-K-I-N T-A-L-E-S. You can also find us on Facebook and TikTok too. Continue to join us so that you can reminisce about the old days, learn something new, and as always, walk good.